Hey, it's Melanie. I just wanted to talk really quick about some of your main partners that you need to consider when you're looking at investing, um, especially, well, not especially, any any of real estate or you're dealing with partners, I would, I would get these guys on your side. Um, but people you need to keep close to. One is your CPA. And I recommend finding a CPA who not only understands the real estate side of taxes, but syndication specifically. Um, there are a lot of benefits to investing in a syndication or in real estate, so you don't want to miss out on those returns. Um, a good CPA that knows syndication can also give you some options for saving even more on taxes um, outside of the norm, of depreciation and um, those kinds of things. But um, and I'm just going to touch on this really briefly, but you need to talk to your CPA about it. Um, there's, if you're a real estate professional, when you are categorized by the IRS, if you are a real estate professional, then you can actually carry off those losses, not carry off, carry those losses from just the investment, the passive income, into your actual income. So any income I make, if I'm invested in a apartment syndication, I not only can depreciate the passive income, I can take it off of my income as a real estate professional. So this will not apply to doctors, dentists, lawyers, um, pilots. If you have a full-time job, you make quite a bit of money and you work 40 plus hours, the IRS isn't gonna say, oh yeah, he's a full-time doctor and he's also a full-time real estate professional. They're not gonna buy it even if you are doing the minimum hours per year in real estate. The minimum hours per year in real estate to be considered a real estate professional is 750. Um, don't quote me on that, talk to your CPA, but that's um, what I understand. Um, so if you have a good CPA who can talk you through this and do it the proper way, if you have a spouse that either doesn't work, has a part-time job, they could be a real estate professional. And if they are a real estate professional doing an honest real estate work, if they're gonna be a licensed agent, they're selling real estate, they're making an income, it, or they're syndicating, or they're, they're doing something, they're actually doing something and making an income, then any losses that they take can transfer over to your income if you're the high income, income earner and you're filing jointly. So again, I'm not a CPA, talk to your CPA. There is a right way to do this and there's a dishonest way to do this, um, but it is pretty lucrative because not only are you saving on your income or your taxes you know, with the passive income and and the spouse's taxes, but it could carry over into all of the income that the joint um, couple makes. So something to consider. CPA, huge part of your business, um, and not business, but your investments, we'll say. <laughs> for some of us, it's a business, but for some people, it's just investments. So uh, CPA. And then the other thing would be a lawyer. Um, lawyers will need to look over your PPM. If you are involved in a syndication, you're gonna get what's called a private placement memorandum. That is your agreement to be a limited partner in a syndication. So it's a very long, wordy, lawyery document that I recommend you have a lawyer look over on your behalf. Um, so that is one team member. So the other team members would be you know, your operators. Um, or people that are you know, doing the project, running the numbers, you, they are your team, so you wanna make sure you have strong operators, trustworthy operators, um, and yeah, because these projects are three, five, seven, ten 10 years. This is you know, a nice little long-term relationship with, with these guys, so you wanna make sure you align with the right people. So that is the tidbit for today. Uh, visit the website, freestylecapitalgroup.com. Find me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and connect with me. I'd love for you to enjoy uh, join the investor group. That's where you and I can have a one-on-one -on -one conversation and figure out exactly what I can help you with. So I hope you're having a good one and I'll see you on the next video.